Hound dog howling, the whistle blow. Train come a rolling. Today, we're finally going to see Hades Town, and I'm super excited. This is a birthday present from my teacher Carlo. So I'm gonna see him now, but thank you, Carlo, so, 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 so much. Uh, my birthday is in a week, but it doesn't matter. And also, I wanna do a really big shout out to Nicholas, who uh, is a big fan of this musical. Hi, Nicholas. And uh, oh my god, I, I cannot wait. Winter's night and summer's four. Hear that high and lonesome sound. I am lost and I am late. Sorry, Carlo. Well, I'm finally walking home after a fantastic dinner with just great people. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. I love this. <laughs> just ah, phenomenal people, which I'm very happy about. Anyway, Hades Town. I was so ready to love this show, and I'm so disappointed in that I don't. Sorry, Nicholas. This show... This is how I explain it to Carlo. It doesn't matter how amazing the sauce is on your fries. If your fries don't taste great, then you're kind of fucked. What this show is trying to do with amazing uh, lighting and costume and whatever what the show did with an old story was great I loved this music uh, even though I cannot hear that fucking light motif ever again I'm sorry 12 times is enough it's too much it's I love the music but the repetition was heavy like really heavy daringly heavy and it also got and the start of it was super slow but in essence this is an old greek story that has problems and is nothing more than a cliche love story it does not matter what you do with it if the problem is there in the core of it so as much as I loved what they were trying to do I didn't love the thing it, it is base it's very complicated to explain I hope people get what I'm trying to say uh, it was too long like I said, the repetition of so many things was just too much. Uh, it had a lot of pacing problems. I think the start was way too long. The uh, act break is in such a strange place to me. Why did it take so long for Eurydice to go to the underworld? To me, it feels like that should have happened in the first 25-30 minutes, but it doesn't. It happens at the end of the first act Which is like why 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 does it happen there? Like if you look at the hero circle It makes no sense at all and another question I had is why did Orpheus and Eurydice even lose touch 
like the guy was writing his song to whatever but why did they separate it was like why were they apart in the first place I did not understand that I, I thought the thing they did at the end where they say like we sing sad songs because we have the hope that it might turn out differently or something was pretty cool but I think the, the, my point is that the concepts they were trying out were just way more interesting than the actual story they were dealing with. I know that this started out as a concept album and I wonder if it was ever this long because it does not uh, merit this length. Um, also something I talked with Carlo about if you cut 45 minutes off of this thing, it is just as good or even better. It's also hard because all of the performers were so amazing. I mean, Patrick Page is terrific, but yeah, okay, cool. You can sing super low. How about you try other things with his part? How about you try other things musically? with uh, what you're trying to do with him. Uh, you're chewing out your gimmick. Uh, all of the performers were phenomenal. But also Orpheus is really like a huge, like he was, it's so, so theatrical in his sort of wimpy dorkiness. I wish I loved the show as much as everybody does. I don't know why it's like I'm going crazy, like everything has to be... The sum of your parts are, do not make the whole fantastic. I'm sorry, I know it won a Tony's, I know it won Best Musical, I can't see why, but... This is not the best thing I've, I've seen so far, not even close. So it feels kind of shitty to say because I was totally ready to uh, to love this unconditionally, but that's not the way I work. My love is conditional. It's sad. Uh, another thing I want to say is that the harmonies for the three, what the fuck were they? The wind? I don't even know. Wow, the, those. They were amazing, absolutely ridiculously amazing. And um, I also think that uh, it was a really great way of telling a story. But just because something is a good way of telling a story doesn't mean that the story they're telling is good. I think that's my problem. The way they're trying to tell the story is phenomenal. From costume design, I mean the shades on Hades were ridiculously cool. Everything looks good, everything sounds good, but what are you saying? It doesn't mean anything. Ugh, so I'm a little frustrated. This is my penultimate musical I'm watching, and I have not had fantastic uh, experiences watching musicals here. I think I'm also just uh, becoming a little desensitized. I was just talking with these uh, guys musical theater writers from the NYU and you don't love things anymore the way you used to when when you just found out about musical theater when you got into it everything was like oh my god and now it's your craft it's your job it's your responsibility almost to make things work make things great tell your stories in efficient and clear and beautiful ways and you just start looking at things so differently and I... Uh, it's starting to get to me. It is. I was completely prepared to love the show and I don't. I'm sorry. Carlo, bedankt voor mijn cadeautje. Uh, yeah, sorry guys. I really am. Uh, I have four days left in this place and I am growing sadder and sadder honestly just talking with these guys tonight really shows me that 
this is the community I'm looking for. These people are so warm and know exactly what they're talking about and are ridiculously talented. And the thought of going back is not really making me very happy at all. I think I'm leaving more behind than I'm going to encounter when I'm back. But that's just something I'm gonna have to deal with for now. That's the thing that's gonna keep me moving, I guess, the for now part. Nothing is permanent and I will be back and I will make something out of this, but not yet. This does not have to do anything with this musical, I'm just ranting. But I don't think a lot of people are actually watching this. So whatever. Well, I'm almost uh, home. So uh, I bid you all farewell. And until the next video, see ya. And one other thing that I just have to talk about because it annoyed me so fucking much is that so little of the song actually rhymes. How hard is it to write a full rhyme? I swear to God, all of the dialogues rhyme and the songs don't. Bye.